Mr. Obi, is there a timeline in your mind that infrastructure in this country can sort of begin to stand up again? Well, you know, for me, we're looking at infrastructure as the physical infrastructure. The biggest infrastructure this country is lacking is the human infrastructure. You cannot deal with the physical infrastructure if you have not dealt with the human infrastructure. The human capital development in Nigeria, Nigeria is number 152 out of 158. So unless you fix the human infrastructure, you're wasting your time dealing with the physical infrastructure. And so you must invest in education. Education is critical. Unless you deal with the education. So you have millions of people who are not educated. And I'll give you an example. The average global intake of higher school, higher education, global, is 38. In developed world, is 52. In Nigeria, it's 9%. And your universities are closed for four years. Unacceptable. So you must deal with that building, because you need the human infrastructure. It is the human beings that you educated in school that can deal with the bridges, deal with the roads, deal with the construction. Look at Chinese people coming to do just our airport. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing? We are not going to hospitals in Egypt. Our people are going to school in Ghana. In fact, I met two students the other day who told me they are just coming back from Sudan. They just graduated. What I mean is, what are you doing to this country? You need to invest in education, education, education. When you finish that, you deal with the critical areas of development. Nigeria was able to generate over 1,000 megawatts of electricity in the 60s. In fact, the first money we borrowed as a country was in 1964 September. When Tefa Belawa wrote the World Bank to borrow $82 million to build the Kain Judah. So you were able to generate over 1,000 megawatts of electricity in the 60s. Almost 60 years after, you cannot generate 4,000. It's unacceptable. I just went to Egypt. They're doing 58,000. 100 million people. And they only added 30,000 in the last five years. All the people I met in the power plants and everything were engineers, Egyptians, trained in universities in Egypt. When I went to the ministries, they had the same thing. They were all educated in Egypt. This is not an African country. So you need to invest in your people in education. I visited all the states of Nigeria. There's no production because you have not invested in the people. Niger State, 76.3 square kilometers of land. They can't feed themselves. They can't feed Nigeria. Netherlands is 33,000 square meters. 33,000 square kilometers. They exported last year 120 billion worth of agriculture. A state to wise their size, two and a half times their size, and their winter cannot feed themselves. You have not invested in the human being. You need to do that investment. Taraba, 54.6 thousand square kilometers of land with Mambila Plaza, where you can do coffee, tea, and flour. Kenya exported 600 million worth of flour. Those who pick flour in Kenya are paid $100. Ethiopia exported coffee, $1.1 billion. You can grow it there. Sierra Lanka, with all their problems, $1.4 billion coffee. You can grow it there. Taraba cannot feed itself. They are waiting to share money from oil. What a country. You need to move this country from consumption to production. And it can be done. We cannot continue this way. So, 
For me, it is a different trajectory. That's why we need people like him. We're in finance. I'm a trader. What I want to do is to see a country that is producing goods and exporting and young people are using their talent and their energy and everything. Let me tell you why I said you might. Do you know that if you're a young man carrying computer in this country, you're a criminal. Countries are giving their young people computer. If you carry a laptop, you're a criminal because you have not educated the country. We need to use our knowledge. It is a knowledge economy that you see today. Nigeria is still dealing with baggage economy. That's why every day they're looking for what to share, what to share, share. I want to remove sharing formula with production formula. That's what we want to do. Can this be done in a four-year tenor? Who says so? You can start. If people are sure, if you say you are moving from here to Akwaibom like he wants to do, once people are sure we are on road to Akwaibom, they don't have patience. What is happening here is that somebody says we are going to Akwaibom, the car is going to Zaria. No! We want to be on the road to where we want to go to. We have patience. That's all. We're not talking about...